like everyone i know who uses ayurvedic herbs to in their routine has long hair and has thick healthy flourishing hair so that's what i'm trying to do <laughs> hi guys thank you for coming back and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is gifty and i make natural hair care lifestyle and everything in between videos yes natural hair care lifestyle and everything in between so in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my diy oil for hair growth so with this oil i try to incorporate ayurvedic herbs yeah but i do i don't have access to most of them but then my aim for making this oil is basically to, in, to incorporate Ayurvedic herbs into my hair care routine. Yeah. So yeah, if you are familiar with Ayurvedic herbs, you know that like it really helps with hair growth. Yeah, it's, it does. Like everyone I know who uses Ayurvedic herbs to, in their routine has long hair and has thick, healthy, flourishing hair. So that's what i'm trying to do but i really don't have access to most of the ayurvedic ingredients where i am or oh, i've not searched so i do i don't have yeah so the little that i have i try to make good use of them so that's what i'll be showing you in this video so if you're interested in that kindly stay with me and yeah let's get no before before we get into the video please and please again i want you to do something for me yes you see that red button there yeah the subscribe button i want you to click it and subscribe because i know you are definitely going to enjoy my content so please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video and please comment and share share with your friends share with your family yeah thank you thank you for watching and thank you for staying with me so now let's get into the video so to make the oil, you are going to need your applicator bottle. This is where you put the oil when you finish making it. And then you need your mason jar. This is what I'm going to make the oil inside. Yes. So the main ingredients for the oil are here we have the green tea. I'm going to just use one pack. And then fenugreek seeds. Yes. So I'll just take some from here and then dried hibiscus flour yes so those are the herbs that i'm going to use and for the oil so i'm going to use this oil this oil is called bear dog oil i've never used it before but i saw on the internet that it's good for hair growth so i bought it and it also has onions and garlic in it and then i know people use onion to do their hair so i'm going to try that and see and then i have my peppermint oil and then we have rosemary oil rosemary oil lavender oil and then castor oil so this is a normal color castor oil not haitian or jamaican or black or what this is normal castor oil when i'm pouring it you see how it looks i've never used it before this is my first time and i also bought vitamin e oil yes i've never used that either but i've heard that vitamin e oil helps preserve the the ingredients since it's a diy ingredient so the main oil that i'll be using as my base is this olive oil because i'll use that in a very large quantity so yeah so here i'm putting my ingredients into the mason jar i didn't measure anything i just eyeballed everything so you can measure it so that like when you want to make it again like you make everything in the same amount but i really don't mind as long as like the product is in there i know i'm going to reap its benefits so i don't really um measure it i don't really i wanted to say i don't really care about the <laughs> measurement yeah as long as it's there i know it's going to benefit me Also, in case you are wondering how you can incorporate 
hair oils into your regimen you can use it for hot oil treatment you can use it to oil your scalp and massage your scalp you can use it in your moisturizing routine yeah when you're using the loc or lco method you can use this oil in that too and also i want to say that you guys don't sleep on your oils because oils are really packed with a lot of goodies for our hair like they contain a lot of vitamins a lot of amino acids like great great things many many great things for our hair so don't sleep on your hair oils using hair oils may be inconvenient at times because like when when your hair is too oily like maybe it might get early it might get dirty early and also you may stain your pillowcases and all that but you just have to use it in small amounts so that you don't experience such inconveniences so this is the setup i use to heat the oil so after putting everything in the mason jar you can leave it like to infuse for maybe some weeks and then like strain it like this or you can use the method that i used the method that i used which is to put it on top of like water that is boiling at low heat so that the heat from the water will warm the oil and the herbs will be able to infuse into the oil so after pouring it in my applicator bottle i then add the essential oil so that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching bye